Okay, any disturbances out there? Yeah, the we have an invest, which basically oh. means that the National Hurricane Center is investigating this area of convection, which is associated with a tropical wave that is approaching Cuba now as we speak. So we're getting some heavy rainfall across portions of the Caribbean, especially Cuba and the Bahamas today. This is tropical wave or invest 97 L wind at 30 miles per hour. Gusts are now up to 40 miles per hour, which is tropical storm strength, but that's just the gust. We need the sustained wind to be 39 miles per hour or greater for it to reach tropical storm strength. It's not organized. There's no obvious center, so it's not a tropical depression yet. Pressure is at 1,012 millibars. It is moving west northwest at 15 miles per hour. So this is the update from the National Hurricane Center at 1 a.m. this morning. So now that it's an invest, we've got some spaghetti models to show you. These spaghetti models taking it into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Ago. That is fairly certain now that it is going to move up across the the street, the Florida Straits, and then additionally into the eastern Gulf along the edge of the, the Gulf of Mexico edge of the Florida Peninsula. This is paused on Sunday, so we'll have this system in the Gulf on Sunday. And this is that break in between the two high pressures that's going to allow the system to turn north. Latest guidance has this moving, which is good news. Yesterday there was some guidance suggesting it could hang out in the Gulf of Mexico. That's what we don't want to see. A moving storm, a storm that moves out of the area fast means uh, less rain, but uh, there's still a lot of rainfall that's going to be associated with this system as it tracks across uh, the edge of Florida. So areas from Cuba and into Florida and then and up along the East Coast should be preparing for some higher end rainfall totals. Meanwhile, for us in Texas, we're looking at a chance for a spotty shower here or there, but overall not much rain is anticipated, especially in South Texas. The next name on the list is Debbie. There's an 80% chance of that storm developing uh, in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. So there that is that is the region where if it gets a name, that's where it would be. For our weekend beach cast, we are looking at temperatures in the 90s. Additionally, wave heights are going to be on the low end side. You'll see that system as it stays on the weaker end, not expecting big swells from this, so we're not going to really see a big uptick in our surf here in the Gulf of Mexico. Areas along the east coast will see the rip current risk and the high surf risk as the storm has a chance of strengthening there into the Atlantic. For us, our winds remain light over the weekend. Pretty calm conditions. We do pick the wind speeds up a little bit into next week, so High pressure, that's going to keep us nice and hot. We're looking at high temperatures in the 90s through the weekend, and we'll see heat index values right around 110 with mostly sunny skies.